something needs to be done. Too many lives are falling victim to the one thing I've dreaded the most. I should have gone into greater detail about this monstrosity in that other video. I was just too scared back then. I didn't know how everyone would take the news. Now that it's becoming more widespread, I have no other choice. I need to save as many as I can, or die trying. Dear Reese, if you are reading this right now, and my latest creation has done its job well, I wasn't sure how much time I had before the monstrosity attacked you as well, so I dispatched that invention as soon as I could. I have a lot more to explain here, but I do hope you take the time to listen carefully. You could be a great help in the future. You might be wondering who I am exactly. Well, I don't feel all too well about giving out my real name, so you can just call me M.A. Larson's brother, or Malb for short. Please understand I only guard that information to limit suspicion from people like the bigwigs from Hasbro. This leads me on to my next reason for writing this letter. Being a fan of the TV show, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, you know of how vastly different it is from the other three versions, correct? Well, there is a good reason for this. You may remember Lorne Faust had wanted to change the style of the show to match her vision. However, there is much more involved with this situation than that. She was actually undertaking a serious operation. She personally suffered many of the same losses that you have recently. What she was working on was a solution to the treacherous disease that the other versions brought about. They would not have been so bad had it not been for the work of Mr. Jeffrey Overman who ingeniously devised a killing machine to wipe out as many people as would buy into the previous three generations of games. He's long dead now, but his works still live on, torturing those that still happen to find them. Of course, I come into this later on. She asked both me and my elder brother to help with this cause. My brother would be useful in helping to plan out some of the episodes as a usual cure. However, I was put in charge of more of the serious cases such as yours. Although Larson's visual cues, along with those of several other writers, had helped you see past the crookedness of the previous generations, you still came into contact with the game My Little Pony Pinkie Pie's Party as a joke Christmas gift. I even prepared for that as well by convincing Hasbro to put a semi-venomous toxin into the case. This was in the form of the Friendship is Magic ad that you discovered in the box. I knew that would definitely be accepted by Hasbro as their leaders do not care too much about effort or relevancy to anything in the first place. As long as it has the potential to bring in a lot of profit, Hasbro allows it. And now you have allowed me to utilize one more emergency precaution. The past idiocy eliminator, or as you might prefer to call her, Pi. I knew the instant that you triggered the silent alarm by removing the Friendship is Magic ad from the cursed game case that it would be brought back to life in the course of a few weeks. It would also seek to destroy you, unless I happen to send help fast. As I said before, the ad was semi-venomous in that it prevented the game from killing anyone for as long as the card was in it. Of course, the venom has no effect when you touch it since it actually acts as a cure in case you're infected with the game's virus. Pi saved you using that same semi-venomous toxin that I lutilized within her skin. It would be in your best interest to keep her, just in case something else goes horribly wrong. If you take a look, you may notice that she bears a striking resemblance to one of the ponies found within Friendship is Magic. She is one of the many prototypes I have built to best suit multiple personality types. I could have sent two other models your way, but your random and special demeanor had me compelled to send Pi your way. Unfortunately, if the guard has anything to tell you as per any of my orders, you'll have to figure it out on your own as it lacks a voice box for audible vocal responses. 
time constraints may have forced me to remove some features, but her actions will most likely lead you in the right direction. As for fuel, all Pi needs is a solar charge. You don't have to worry about buying extra food or anything of the sort. As long as she is near a window or some other place where light can get to her, the internal battery will automatically charge. This allows for a maximum lifetime of about 12 hours at night time, so unless you come across some interesting clouds during the daytime, you can utilize Pi's abilities 24-7. I don't really have much else to tell you right now. I'm still working out a plan of what to do next. Like I said before, keep Pi close to you. Don't take anything I tell you to do through her with a grain of salt. I know it's hard to go just on this letter in Pi, who seems to be just a standard immobile plushie, but trust me, she'll come in handy later on. Truly yours, Malb. I was lucky to have survived. Had it not been for Malb and Pi, I probably would have been sleeping in the same patch of dirt as my past friends. I now know that the journey ahead of me won't be easy. Luckily, Pi showed up at the right time to assist me in many of my future endeavors. Now it seems that some of the interesting clouds out today are moving elsewhere. Even just one bit of sunshine is beginning to change things for the better. Thank you, Mal. Your efforts won't be wasted.